What inspired me to be a DJ was this old YouTube video. Once I saw that video and realized that something as cool as that is possible with already made music, I instantly knew that DJing was a profession for me. But it occurred to me just now that you guys might not know who this legendary DJ is. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you my top 5 DJs of all time in no particular order. But before we start, let me know in the comment section down below who are your top 5 DJs and why. And with that said, let's begin. But before we do that, let me say this. Happy Thanksgiving everyone and Happy Black Friday! To honor this holiday, all my courses are now 50% off until December 6, 2019 so get them while they're hot! So the first DJ you saw was DJ AM. He was a very popular open format DJ during the 2000s but sadly passed away in 2009 at the young age of 36. But his reputation, style, and overall contribution to DJing continues to live on today. You don't deserve to wear one of these. Shut it down. Goldstein. Yes, Mr. Stark. Give me a fat beat to beat my biceps. <laughs> DJ AM was known for his unique ability to creatively blend different genres of music together seamlessly in a mix. He would play different genres of music that didn't really think or match right in one's head but would actually match perfectly in a club or festival setting. He pushed the boundaries of DJ further by playing music that everyone loved, EDM with rock, rock with hip hop, hip hop with opera, you name it, he mixed it. So the next DJ on the list is considered to be one of the greatest of all time or the GOAT and that is of course DJ Craze. Okay, for me, first of all, dopeness is what I like the most. <laughs> dopeness. People who want to make things as dope as possible. <laughs> So as the video shows, DJ Craze is a very skillful DJ and what makes him the GOAT are his consecutive World DMC DJ Championship wins. He won 3 in a row during the peak and height of turntablism and that in itself is pretty insane. <laughs> Now what I really like about DJ Craze is that he doesn't rest on his laurels. He's always popping out new and amazing DJ videos and routines that constantly push the boundaries of turntablism further. Just like that. Next DJ on the list is someone you actually might know. He's Will Smith's DJ and partner in crime in the hitch of the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, and he's the first DJ slash producer to win a Grammy for the best rap performance. And that is of course the magnificent DJ Jazzy Jeff. <laughs> Yeah, 
What I really admire about DJ Jazzy Jeff, besides his mixing, creativity, and overall party rocking skills, is his progressive thinking on the art and culture of DJing. Is sync the end of DJ? I just said earlier that technology doesn't have shit to do with DJing. Like, I don't understand this whole thing that people are mad at the sync button. Don't use it if you don't want to use it. But if you want to use it, use it. He sort of is the godfather of open format DJing, and that coupled with his multiple DJ and producer awards makes him one of the most respected DJs in the world. Let's go, dude. The next DJ was a big inspiration and influence on me when I was competing in Red Bull 3 style. You see, when coming up with a DJ routine of your own, one tends to look to other DJs for inspiration. And back in the day, I always found myself re-watching this specific video. I was always at awe on how creative and cool this DJ routine was. This DJ flipped such an iconic sample that just knocked the competition and me away. Anyway, this guy is of course Scratch Bastard and as his name implies, he's really good in scratching. <laughs> What I like most about Scratch Bastard is that he makes the most simplest techniques sound amazing. He doesn't do a lot of the new school techniques, but he absolutely murders all the fundamental basic stuff, which is such an inspiration. Now before we move on any further, let me remind you that this list is in no particular order. But since we're almost done with this video, I think there are a couple of DJs worth mentioning that I may do a video about in the future. So if you guys want that, let me know in the comment section down below. Anyway, here are my honorable mentions. A-Track, Shortcut, D-Styles, Miles Medina, DJ Angelo, DJ Shifty, and Four Color Zack. Those guys are super dope, and if you don't know him, you need to know him. Fucking intro. Anyway, let's move on to the final DJ on this list. There is no DJ in the world who does not know this Ultra God level scratch DJ. Some say he's an alien, some say he's a Yoda of DJing, but everyone knows this man as simply the greatest scratch DJ of all time. And that is of course, DJ Cubert. <laughs> Now, if you wonder who did I learn from when I was starting out my scratch journey, it would be this guy. Oh 
Now, I didn't learn from him personally and directly. Like any bro kid, I would go for the free option. And luckily, Hubert offered that on YouTube. All right, this next technique is called crabs. Um, basically, you're using all your fingers on the fader. Your thumb is a spring. So, I would watch his crab tutorials over and over and over again. And his spirit in teaching and giving stuff for free to others really inspired me to pick up his mantle and sort of do the same for you guys. And you've reached the end of the video and since you're still here, let me know in the comment section down below which DJ was your favorite and why. And with that said, thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.